Hey guys, Hero of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using old drawers that were thrown away to make a shoe rack. This is too wide, so I'm going to reduce it using a handsaw. This is where I'm going to be cutting, and I'll do the same thing to the other drawer. I made sure that what I have can take two pairs of shoes comfortably on opposite sides. I replaced the board inside, and now I'm going to be putting the two drawers like this, and then putting a plank of wood over them in the middle. I'll be attaching the wood to the drawers with screws. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. In the middle, I'm going to make four partitions where I'm going to be adding wood to it. And then I made the middle part to make it easy for me to attach the wood that I'm going to be putting in the middle to the one that's at the back using wood glue and screws. I'll be using corner braces to hold the wood down to make sure that no matter what happens, it's going to stay in place before I then turn around and then add screws to it. Now that I have all four planks attached, I'm going to have one wood that's going to be on top and it's going to meet the top and the bottom of the two drawers that I have there and this will keep it strong and sturdy. I made sure that I use wood that's thick enough to make screws go through it. Because of the size of the shoe rack, I added caster rollers at the bottom to make it easy to move around. I realized that what I used was kind of small, so I got larger ones. And these rollers is going to make it easy for me to move my shoe rack about. Now for the design that's at the top, I'm going to be making a pattern first with cardboard. But before then, I'm going to paint my wood white. This is the paint that I got from Walmart that I'll be using. And it says it has an excellent hide, spatter resistant, and it minimizes surface imperfections, which is perfect for the kind of wood that I chose for my shoe rack. Now I'm going to be drawing out the pattern that I want in front of the shoe rack. You can leave your shoe rack the way it is, just like this without adding any design at the top, but you know me, I just wanted something a little bit extra in front of it. Now that I have what I want, I'm going to cut out the shape. Now this is already big as it is, so I wanted to end here, but then this opening here that's on the drawer, I'm going to be covering that up with mirror reflective paper and the link for this mirror reflective paper will be in the description box below. And I'll be covering all four open sides with a mirror reflective paper. I 
I will trace out the shape that I have on the cardboard on a 1 inch foam. I used the cardboard just because I needed to trace out the shape. Now the cardboard is going to be on wood, which is perfect because I'll be making my tufts on it. I'll be making marks for the tufting starting from here and I'll do it on this wood here and this other wood that's on this side here and then make extra points at the top. I used a pair of scissors to make holes on the points. I then cover the foam with batting. For today's tufting, I'm going to be using vinyl that I've had at home and the fabric is not a lot but I'm going to see how to manage the fabric that I have for this particular project. The tufting for today will be done with a staple gun. Of sides will be glued and folded at the back neatly. And the rough sides that I have on the wood is going to be trimmed off neatly. I'm going to cover that up much later though. Now for the middle, I'm going to be attaching a Walmart mirror. I'll be drilling holes and then using screws to attach the mirror to the wood. Now remember, you're going to be doing this on the frame, on the frame, on the frame, because you don't want to break the mirror. I'll be adding two extra screws in the middle and then two screws at the bottom. The base that was on the drawer was not strong enough, so I replaced it with stronger wood. I will use this trim to cover up the rough edges that's at the top. I'll use these crystal buttons to hide the pins. I'll be using mirror mosaic tiles, and the link for this is going to be in the description box below. And this is going to be used to hide the rough sides that we have here that's on the wood. And I'll be using these mirrors to decorate the partitions. Inside the drawer is kind of rough, so I'm going to cover that up with foam board. I want to make good use of what I have down here, so instead of using it for just storage alone, I'm going to have to put a board on top of it. That's going to take extra pairs of shoes. 
I'm updating my closet so I need more space for my shoes and I'm gonna add this shoe rack with the one that I made earlier on my channel. And the link for that video is gonna be in the description box below. Now this is what the overall shoe rack looks like. Now the drawer that's at the top, I just put bins there for extra storage. This is stylish and unique and it's perfect for small spaces. It is interesting to know that two drawers that I rescued <laughs> sparked up an idea to create this. I really love how there's extra storage at the top and at the bottom with shoes in between. This was a really fun project for me and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have all the home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button 